Well, good Thursday morning. Buck Day starts this week, and this weekend is the Blue Angels, the wings over South Texas. So the weather will be a big concern as we're waiting a pretty strong disturbance, and that'll probably provide some pretty good numerous showers and storms on Saturday. Now we're hoping for the system to clear out very fast. And by Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, we'll clear out the sunshine with temperatures in the 80s. But the big concern is the cloud ceiling. On Saturday, it'll be below about 1,000 feet, which right now it doesn't look like the best environment for wings over South Texas. Now, again, we have rain in the forecast. Right now, it's mostly dry. A few showers working into Live Oak County and Bee County off this boundary right here. A cold front north of San Antonio behind the front. 50s and 60s, but this is the reason part one of the forecast that we're seeing at least the chance at rain for today, tomorrow and even into this weekend. Right now, a little bit of fog out there. Temperatures still in the 70s, partly cloudy southeast winds and pretty breezy this morning. 24 miles an hour gusting up to 30. Great news. Wind speeds should relax quite a bit for today, for this evening and into tomorrow as well. But right now, six miles an hour over at the airport, 24 over in Flower Bluff, 14 in Port Aransas and five over in Rockport again from the south and southeast. Thanks to these breezy wind speeds, fog is not a big deal this morning. However, over in Rockport, they're seeing some patchy to widespread fog near Matagorda Bay, Copano Bay and mainly northeast of Corpus Christi. We may see this fluctuate a little bit over the next couple hours, but right now uh, the breeze is hindering any widespread fog from forming. OK, rain chances today. We will see an isolated shower chance as a boundary works through. Not looking great. If anything, it's going to be light rain. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour later on this afternoon. And in fact, we'll see some partial clearing and a little bit of sunshine to wrap up your Thursday with temperatures topping out in the middle to upper 80s. Now, in the meantime, we have another coastal flood advisory in effect for the island. This was a big concern yesterday as uh, you know, high tide. Uh, you know, swells and strong southeast winds were causing a lot of flooding and water reaching the dunes on the island near Flower Bluff and over in Port Aransas and over in Rockport. This is in effect until 10 a.m., so this should not be a problem all day. However, we'll see some minor coastal flooding through about 10 and 11 a.m., and that's certainly possible. Okay, to the radar, we have a lot of activity. In fact, San Antonio saw a tornado warning late last night, 10 and 11 p.m. Those have since expired, and the tornado watch has expired as well. When we zoom in into Live Oak County and Bee County, you can see a line of showers and storms moving through 281, I-37, and some of this is heavy, but I'm not expecting anything severe to come from this, especially in our northwestern counties this morning. You look off north on I-35 into Waco, Austin, Dallas, and Fort Worth off I-20 as well. Just a lot of widespread activity, and you back out the view. This is all in a part in association with this low spinning right here out near El Paso. Now, this is the reason we're talking rain chances today mostly tomorrow and mostly for the first half of the weekend as this approaches from the west and on this eastern side you get a lot of what we call divergence aloft and this gives rise to a lot of widespread rain coming in from mexico and the rio grande so let's walk you through it uh, future cast hour by hour for today mostly cloudy some light rain through about one and two o'clock nothing that bad don't worry too much about it if anything you'll see a stray shower here and there by this afternoon five and six o'clock we'll see some mostly sunny skies partly cloudy skies in and around the coast so Ben, watch what happens late tonight, tomorrow morning on 430 pre dawn. We're going to watch this front move through. It's going to stall out over Corpus Christi and over South Texas. And with that low coming in from the west, this front igniting rain all day tomorrow, we're going to see waves of energy work through for Friday and Saturday. And you'll see by Friday night, 10, 10 and 30, some of these downpours could turn severe and very heavy at times in Duval County near Freer, Alice, Orange Grove and moving into Corpus Christi by early Saturday. Saturday. This is 4 a.m. So we're looking at a pretty good chance at rain all day Friday, all day Saturday, which right now could amount to two to three to four inches of rainfall across the coast of Ben. Great news. Rain chances should subside and diminish by Sunday and as we cruise into early next week. OK, seven day forecast tomorrow. Scattered showers on Saturday. Temperatures cool down thanks to the cloud cover and the rain cool there. But look at that. Numerous downpours expected for the first half of the weekend. Hopefully things clear out for wings over South Texas on Sunday. But right now it looks like Sunday through Wednesday. Mostly sunshine and temperatures near 90. Barbie.